Hello everyone and welcome to my channel this is the 89th part of what if Deku was Sanji's reincarnation, my heroes reborn, the author of this great fan if I see is M. Ivoli links to them and original story in the description. Chapter 89, Learning About Work Studies The first day of the term had begun. The day opened with an assembly with Nizu lamenting All Might's retirement and the event of the Nomu invasion, though reassured that All Might would still be on staff and he would still help out with teaching. However after the assembly, Manoma decided to leer his ugly head. You know it's quite pathetic that one of you got kidnapped. He told them, slash. What the fuck did you just say? Yelled Katsuki. I mean it's the truth, one of you got kidnapped. Said Manoma, no one in class 1B got kidnapped. I bet that we could have easily escaped. Katsuki was about to fight him. However Ida and Momo stopped him. You were not there Manoma. Muttered Ida. There was nothing anyone could have done to stop the kidnapping. Muttered Momo blaring harshly. Are you sure about that, even for all your strength? Said Manoma. It was a liquid-based warp quirk. Said Momo. What? Asked Manoma. Izuku knew had to say something and entered Sanji mode. I don't know how it worked but it filled my mouth and knows a shitty liquid that warped me away, so unless one of your classmates had a quirk that can counteract that tell me. Muttered Izuku blaring at him. Manoma looked at his classmate Pony who he was going to use her naivete and lack of knowledge of Japanese, as she was American, but it was clear that she was horrified by what Izuku was saying, well what she could understand. They went cl class leaving the students of class 1B without a response. Plus it helped that Itsuka showed up and punched Manoma scolding them for the fact that he tranced a class that had a member kidnapped by them. When class got started Aizawa. Sighed. This was going to be a painful class for sure. Not because of the topic but because who had to speak to the students. Alright, now that you all have your provisional licenses, it's for the best to talk about work studies. Said Aizawa. The class was confused. He explained work studies which were type of internship that usually students in their third year did, but younger students could do it if they had their licenses. Izuku raised his hand. If we wanted to do work studies does it have to be twit the hero you interned with? Asked Aizawa. No it doesn't have to be, but unless you have connections with other heroes it would be very difficult to get one. Said Aizawa, and I'm aware that you do have connections with other heroes I was just saying that for the rest of the class. The other reincarnation s as well as Ida and Todoroki knew that Izuku was internet pen pals with Aoi due to their shared an interest in quirk analysis. None of would be surprised if he requested to do work studies there. He did bring up that if they did do work studies, they would have to take makeup classes as they would be missing out on class much of the time. We also have some speakers to explain how work studies will work. Said Aizawa. That was when Mirio, Nijire, and Tamaki all walked in. We don't need to introduce ourselves since we all met yesterday during dinner. Laughed Mirio. There was awkward silence among them. This going to fucking suck. Muttered Katsuki. It won't be that bad. Said Toru. Izuku just sighed. Tamaki's anxiety was acting up and had stage fright. I just want to go home. He bemoaned. This just made class 1 a sweat drop. Don't worry he'll get over it sooner or later. Said Nijire. Everyone just sweat dropped at that response. I would ask you all questions but you already answered them. Said Nijire. This made them all sweat drop even more. So you want to learn about work studies? Said Mirio. The class paid attention. There's something important I learned in work studies. Said Mirio. The class looked at him wondering what he was talking about. And I want to show you. Said Mirio with a big grin, so I challenged the entire class to a match. Both Izuku and Katsuki slammed their faces into their desks. That was faster than I thought you would do it. Said Tamaki. I think my past lie personality kicked there. Laughed Mirio. No usually I wouldn't care about things like this. Said Aizawa, but I saw footage of your spar with Bakugo, 
that is not a good idea, at all. Oh yeah, most of you probably wouldn't be able to stand up to me. Laughed Mirio. The class all started to sweat at that. What does he mean by that? Asked Kaminari. You don't want to know. Sighed Izuku. Idiot. Muttered Katsuki. The rest of the class was rather awkward, but quite a few in the class wanted to do it. During lunch, the reincarnated members of class 1A got a text from Hibiki telling them to meet him after class. Of course he knew all of them wanted to do work studies and he wanted to talk about that. And they did after class. All right. Momo I'm going to assume you want to do work studies with Chuko. Said Hibiki. I do. Said Momo. And Izuku, since you don't have to go with Gran Torino, I assume you want to with Aoi. Said Hibiki. Yeah. Said Izuku. Katsuki you interned under bed genist, he wasn't that injured during the invasion so I think he'd up to. Said Hibiki. Fuck, no. I'm not going to him. Muttered Katsuki. Okay, good to know. Said Hibiki. Hibiki gave Achiko, Toru, Mashireo, and Katsuki a list of reincarnated heroes that would suit them best. Contact them when you want to. Said Hibiki. Mashireo stared at his list. Ruji, Ruji? He asked. Even I have to admit he might be the best one for you at the moment. Said Hibiki. However the next day they all had bad news. I'm sorry but I have an announcement to make about work studies. After everything that happened in the past few months. For safety reasons it has been decided that we will only accept hero agencies with good track records for work studies. He explained. That was when they all got a text at the same time. Aizawa sighed. You six may look at your phones. I assume it has something to do with work studies. He said. They all checked their phones. Turned out it was a text from Hibiki explaining that none of the reincarnated agencies had a good track record or work studies for one reason other another. During lunch they talked about it with Ida, Suyu, Kirishima, and Todoroki. Chuko hasn't ever taken anyone from work studies. Sighed Momo. Always done a couple but not enough to have a good enough track record. Sighed Izuku. I am not fucking going back to best genist. Muttered Bakugo. I would rather not go back with the hero I interned with either. Said Todoroki. Who once again was his father. Yeah, don't. Said Katsuki. I'm sure something will pan out. Said Kirishima. I mean the hero I interned with doesn't do work studies at all. And Selki is too busy. Said Tsuyu. At the same time, Hibiki had just finished a series of phone calls with the Big Three's help. All right. We were able to do it. Said Mirio. I can't believe all three of them agreed to do it. Said Hibiki, especially since it was a big demand. Priestess has a reputation, and the fact that all of remained heroes means something. Said Tamaki. He's got a point. Said Aiko, without your past life's memories you'd be an idiot. Thank you Aiko. Muttered Hibiki with his eye twitching. I'm even, even more surprised that they agreed to the other part of the idea. Said Tamaki. Well it keeps things fair, mostly. Said Aiko. What do you mean mostly? Asked Mirio. You just know what they're going to pick their closest friends for this. Said Aiko, so there's still some semblance of yay nepotism. This made the three sweat dropped. Thankfully that afternoon was a session, which was to give them the news about what they had in mind for it. Namely as all three were doing work studies the heroes they worked with of course had a good track record. Wait, they agreed to take us on. Said Izuku surprised. They did. Said Mirio. All of them agreed to take on three people from your class. Said Tamaki. And to be fair, they mean three people each. Said Aiko. Wait. Really? Said Achiko. Oh wow. Said Toru. 
so I guess we're going to be working together. Said Momo to Nijire. That was when Nijire started to pout. Actually you're going with Tamaki. She said. Really? Asked Momo. It's your quirk. I study under fat gum. Said Tamaki. Oh that's perfect for you. Said Izuku. Also Achiko. Ryukyu is partially an aerial hero so I think you can learn a lot from her as well. Said Tamaki. Achiko giggled, you got Shikamaru's strategic mind so I'm not surprised. Wait. That means you get to go with one of the top 10 heroes. Said Izuku realizing it. You're right. Realized Achiko. Nijire smiled, after all the hero she was interning with was indeed one of the top 10 heroes. But Katsuki and Izuku get to come with me to Sir Night Eye. Said Mirio. Really? Asked Izuku. Katsuki grinned. Sir Night Eye was the former sidekick of All Might's. So of course he was excited. In fact he actually requested you. Said Mirio. Really? Asked Izuku. Told him you were, were All Might's protege. Said Mirio. Oh that made sense. Said Izuku. But he got a bad feeling from that for some reason. He didn't know why. He knew he should talk to All Might about it, but he was still in the hospital for a few reasons. IT was decided that Toru would go with Achiko and Nijire while Mashireo would go with Momo and Tamaki. Wait is that a good idea? Asked Toru. I have no intention of telling Fat Gum that two of you are very good cooks anytime soon. Admitted Tamaki, he might never forgive me having you go with Ryukyu. Everyone knew that he would shrug off Izuku due to the fact Sir Night I did personally ask for him. But the baker, yeah he would be pretty upset about that for a while. However there was a also the matter with the three extra slots. So it was quickly and easily decided who would get the extra spots. Before he started dinner, Izuku talked to Todoroki. Really? Asked Todoroki. If you want to. Said Izuku. If I have the excuse of helping you or the other reincarnations I don't think he would do anything too terrible. Said Todoroki. Izuku sweat dropped at his friend. Thank you. Said Todoroki with a genuine smile, happy that his friend got him out of having to do work studies with his dad. Katsuki meanwhile went to talk to Kurishima. Really? You got me a work studies? Asked Kurishima. Yeah. Said Katsuki, and I got to ask you. All right. Thanks man. Cheered Kurishima hugging Katsuki. Stop hugging me. Yelled Katsuki. Achiko and Toru meanwhile talked with Ida. That is a wonderful offer but I have to decline. Said Ida, but I'm going to have to decline. Really why? Asked Achiko. After what happened in Hosu, I realized I have a long way to go and I should focus on my studies. Said Ida. Achiko nodded. And it has nothing to do with the face that your legs are bleeding? Asked Toru. That was, was when Ida noticed that there was a small trickle of blood on one of his leg. I thought I bandaged it properly. Said Ida. Achiko and Toru helped him bandage his leg, as it turned out that wasn't his only reason. He had recently tore out his tailpipe as part of a surgery to help him get stronger. Because of that he was also recovering from doing such a thing, so he would have declined because of that. Did you at least tell the teachers? Asked Achiko. I have. Said Ida. Both of them nodded. They later met up with the big three, along with Todoroki and Kirishima. So Ida declined. Said Izuku. Well his legs are fucked up. Muttered Katsuki so I can't blame him. Do you have a backup friend? Asked Mirio. Hold a second. Said Katsuki. He walked over to where Koda was asked him if he wanted to do work studies, but the rock-headed boy quickly declined, as he wasn't up for it. Honestly Katsuki had a feeling Nu was going to decline but knew it was a good idea to offer anyways. 
He declined. Said Katsuki when he got back to them. I didn't think he'd be up for it. Said Toru. Hey. Then can I pick? Asked Nijire. If you want to. Said Momo. Nijire got up and went to talk to Tsuyu. She told Tsuyu about the offer and that her classmates asked two others but they declined. Tsuyu was surprised that she attracted the older girl's attention. Thank you so much. She said surprised. You're welcome. Said Nijire. Tsuyu did indeed wanted to do a work studies after all. And to do one with one of the top ten heroes as well. When Nijire got back, Momo realized something. Wait, if Tsu is going to go with Ryukyu which ones are Kirishima and Todoroki going to go to? Said Momo. That was when they all realized that due the fact it was Azuku who extended the invitation to Todoroki and Katsuki extended to Kirishima and they were going not go the same agency. Izuku and Katsuki realized the same things and they looked at each other. Not long later, the two of them looked at each other. If Izuku won't this then Todoroki would be joining them, if Katsuki won this then Kirishima would be joining them. You're going to lose Deku. Yelled Katsuki. I won't let you win. Said Izuku. Everyone watched this match as it unfolded in front of them. That was when it started and things were determined. Rock. Said Katsuki holding up his fist. And paper covers rock. Said Izuku. Are you fucking kidding? Yelled Katsuki. Todoroki gets to go with us. Said Izuku. Hey it's fine. Said Kirishima trying to reassure Katsuki. Katsuki was still grumbling. Why did they do this outside again? Asked Todoroki. For dramatic effect. Said Toru. Todoroki was just even more confused by this. Still all of them along with Kirishima, Todoroki and Suyu were going to do work studies. However none knew what was just up ahead or the major change that would happen because of work studies. Nor the reason why Sir Knight I wanted Izuku to intern under him. That will be it for this part. I hope everyone enjoyed if you did please leave a like and comment if you want part 90. If you want to hear more from me subscribe I hope to see you all in the next one.